Okay, so we're gonna start with the stuff that's on my dresser first. So I'm just gonna go in the line that it's set up. And so the first thing that's on my dresser is my brushes. I have a lot of brushes. I'm not gonna show you guys every brush. I'm just gonna tell you guys um, some of the brands that I got my brushes from. I have Morphe brushes, Luxy brushes, Illuminator brushes, um, Elf brushes, Wet n Wild brushes, um, who else? Luna Magic brushes, and I believe that's all the brand of brushes I have, most of my brushes are actually Morphe. It's only a couple of that's the other names that, that I um, named. So, next is we have this tray. Um, in this tray, oh, also in my brushes, I have my eyebrow pencil. And the eyebrow pencil that I use is the Wet n Wild Concour Color Eyeliner in Simeon Brown, color 603A. This is what I use. Because everybody wants to know what I use on my brows. Yeah, that's what I use. Um, okay, so in the first tray, I have um, eyelash glue. I use, for my eyelashes, I use hair glue. I just get any hair glue. Like, you know, they have different um, brands and different ones like the Super or the, I just get whichever one I see first. So it doesn't matter to me. Um, I have Black Radiance Color Perfect Oil Free Liquid Makeup Foundation in the color Clove. Uh, is that the color? Yeah, so this is the foundation that I sometimes use. But I haven't been using it lately because it doesn't match me anymore because of it being winter time. So I have to get a different color. So, yeah. So, I also have, I have the Fenty, oh shit, I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Mini Insta Retouching Setting Powder in the color Banana. Um, I have the Lovecraft Beauty Highlighter in the color Borzellas. I don't know how to say that color. And then this is it. I'll show you guys the color if y'all want to see. Hold on. I actually haven't used this. I don't use highlight like that, honestly. So I haven't been using it. So this is the color. It's like a um, gold champagne, champagne color. Okay, I have the Space Case Cosmetics Eyeshadow in the color Gold Base. The box is kind of... That's it. I'm going to open it for you guys. I actually don't think I've opened this. I got this in either a Boxy Charm or an Epsi. So I'm not sure. Oh, well, this is a pretty color. It's just a nice glitter shade. Cute lid shade. I use shades like this for either my lids or um highlight but like I said I haven't been using highlight lately so um I have the um, Arkelsey girl I don't know eyeshadow tequila that's the name I don't know how to pronounce it and it's called eyeshadow tequila I don't even know I had this this was underneath something Oh, this is a pretty color. I should have used this yesterday when I did my eyeshadow. This is a pretty color. I definitely have to use this. I'm going to put this on top because, like I said, it was underneath something. Okay. I just have an e.l.f. sharpener. That's always good to have. Okay. Let me just put everything back. I have the Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Flower, which is like their setting powder. 
in the color Casanova Flower. This is what I have, it's kind of dirty. So I have this one. Then I have the, um, the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the color Translucent. It's just the original um, formula. Okay, that's it for that. Um, that's it for that one. So, hold on. okay. So the next um, tray we have is basically like my foundations, primers, stuff like that. Just like little face stuff. So here we have another um, e.l.f. sharpener. It was a two pack, so I have two. Um, we have the Benefit, the Benefit Black Mascara Super Curly and Lifting Mascara Roller Lash. This one, the one that I always use. It's literally the only mascara that I have, so yeah. Um, we have the Dose of Color Concealer in the color Deep, um, number 28. This is what I've been using for my foundation lately. So I mix this with my concealer to give me the perfect color. Because like I said, um, I like this coverage super, you know, I want to get go get my color foundation. But, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I want to get my color foundation. But if I can't, then I'm just going to keep using this formula because it's perfect. That we have, I have the It your skin but better cc plus color correcting full coverage cream plus it's spf 50. so yeah that's what this is i don't use this um like i think it came in either a boxy charm or an epsi most of this stuff came from i'm never saying most of this stuff because hella shit i bought on my own so i guess i can start telling y'all what i bought on my own well it's too late now but yeah so i don't use this but when i do start using it i'm gonna use it like towards um like the summertime so i won't get like skin burn you know so i can use it i'm just gonna use it as the sunscreen because it has ps 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 p s p so yeah um so i have the scone insanely intense tattoo waterproof eyeliner in the color jet black the one i always use i have this which is just what i use to get my glue out for my lashes i have a eyebrow razor because sometimes um i be needing my eyebrows to be waxed so let's say that i'm doing my eyebrow and i'm like sometimes i can do my I, most of the time i do my eyebrows without them being waxed or without them being uh what do you call that like uh razored but let's say that i'm doing my eyebrows and it's just like one or a couple pieces of hair that's like i can't cover up with concealer i'll just go in and you know do it real fast um i have the ace beauty what are these these are lip liners um this one is in the color b peachy and it's just like a peachy color it doesn't really show up on me so i don't use it um yeah uh and then this is the same thing in the color so gorgeous which is like a red um i used this one time when i was doing the red eyebrow thing i did this i used it one time because i was rushing so it was just a quick you know do, 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 do. because um usually i do my red eyebrows with red eyeshadow but since i was rushing it um the eyeshadow takes me a little longer so since i was rushing i just used this and I use this when I had red lipstick on. I used to just use this as the lip liner. Um, okay. The next thing we have is I have the Smashbox Photo Fitness Oil and Shine Control Primer. I use this along with another primer, and it's been working good for me. Like I'm not as oily as I used to be, and I'm I'm not sure. Well, I'm pretty sure it's not because of this. Because like I, I only use this when I do my makeup. But I've been using this um, moisturizer that's been helping with my um, oily face. So that may be a reason. I'm not sure if um, this is really working, honestly. So it, it just may just be my moisturizer. But it definitely, I still put it on just in case that is the re Like, this is um, part of the reason. So, yeah. 
Uh, next, we have the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Contour Concealer in the color Deep Espresso. And this is what I use as my liquid contour, cream contour, whatever you want to call it. Uh, everything, I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna say that everything's gonna be in the description down below, but honestly, I'm not gonna wanna write all this in the description down below. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, I have the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. This is what I have, but honestly, it's not in the box. So honestly, I don't know where it's at, but this is what I use for my brows. So if I can't find it, I'm just gonna buy another one. But I didn't buy that one, that one was sent to me. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color um, 35 Deep. This is actually too light for me. I used to use, if you, if you guys is real, and y'all know me, and y'all been watching me for a minute now, Y'all know that I used to use the color Honey, which is the color 20, but because it just started to get too light for me. Like, it wasn't working. So, it just wasn't working for me anymore. So, I went up a shade, but now this is, it's still kind of too light. I mean, I make it do what it do. But I think I want to do a darker color because I don't really like super bright anymore. So, yeah. That, we have a couple primers. These primers I don't really use too often because, like I said, I found some that work for me. But some of these primers I do use when I just want to take a picture. When I just want to take, like, a quick picture for the gram or I'm going to get on Snapchat and look cute. Like, something quick. If I'm doing something quick, I'll use these primers because when i had them i found they worked for the moment but if i was out online doing stuff i just feel like it didn't really work like it wasn't for um long term it wasn't for like um we're gonna do things for long these are like kind of short term primers so i'll use it when i'm gonna do short term stuff so this is the l'oreal infallible matte lock this one I also have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Base Photo Focus fo Photo Focus Matte Primer Stick. That one, and this is literally just the same thing, but it's not the stick; it's the liquid. I don't know why I got both, but yeah. That next okay so that's all that's on that tray now the next two trays are gonna be nothing but lipsticks i have hella lipsticks i'm gonna insert i'm not sure if the video is gonna be in the beginning of this video or it's gonna be um maybe in the beginning yeah i'll put the video if you guys seen in the beginning i'll see that i have hella lipsticks so um i have about one, two, three, four. Uh, I have five trays up here, and two of them are lipsticks. So, yeah. Moving on. So, the next, like I said, the next two trays are going to be lipsticks and bombs and stuff like that. So, let's just get into it. Most of the, I'm going to say, out of all these lipsticks, before I even, um, I don't know if you guys are curious, but out of all these lipsticks that I have, I bought every single one except for five of them. Other than that, I've bought every single one um, because I love lip I love lipsticks and I like, well, I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed, I love lip gloss for one. I don't like for my ash lips to be ashy. And then another thing is I like a brown and nude lip. So half these colors are definitely nude, but they're from different brands. So they got different formulas, stuff like that. So that's why I have, and one just may be a little pinker than the other. And one just may be a little browner. So that's why I have a lot of them. But yeah, every single one on here I bought except for five, maybe five. Yeah, maybe about five. Let me actually count. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, literally. Um, I've bought all of them except for five. 
um and the five that i didn't buy they're not really they're not lipstick they're like lip gloss or lip balm and stuff like that so let's just get straight into it i'm doing too much talking so the first one on this pal on this tray is it's cruelty free but um it's the wet and wild mega last liquid cat suit high shine lipstick in the color sin nudes y'all seen me use this before actually i've seen me use this a lot i love this this is one of my favorite ones i'm not gonna lie half of these some of these on here i haven't even opened yet but yeah um this is one of my favorite ones the next one is the hemp's pure hold extract lips ultra moisturizing lip balm lip balm enriched with 100 percent pure natural hemp seed oil um this is one of the ones that i didn't buy um this was sent to me it's like a just a lip um like an everyday gloss um lip balm whatever um this is black radiant black it just says black radiance boss brown lipstick i've honestly i've only i've never used this as a lipstick when i first bought it i had used it as a uh contour but i didn't like how it came out on me like it came super gray so i just never used it after that but i just thought think i keep it in handy if one day i may need a brown lip know when that day will come but you know okay we have wet and wild it just says wet and wild breeze breeze so this is it it's like a nudie color i don't know if y'all can see yeah um we have glow for a cause lip love flirt this is just a lip balm as well it doesn't come up as a color it's just a bomb um if y'all watched um if y'all like once again if y'all been watching me then y'all know i used to use this in my facial routine this used to be the um bomb that i would use because I, I don't know, like for my lips to be ashy um and this is also something that i didn't buy it was sent to me um this is a wet and wild it's the same thing just a different color a wet and wild mega last liquid cat suit in the color this one is in the color nudist peach y'all have also seen me use this before if y'all have been watching me like i said it's the same one it's just a different color so this is what I was saying. These are both like nudes, but this is like a brown nude. This is like a pink nude. So yeah. Um, we have the Fenty Beauty um, glass bomb in the color glass slipper. This is just the. Uh, this is actually the clear one, but because I use brown, um, on some days when I don't want a pink. I'll just do brown with lip gloss. And this is the lip gloss that I used to use, which is why it's brown. But it still comes out clear whenever I use it. And even if it comes out brown, I don't mind. Because like I said, I use this when I'm always using a brown liner. So it is, really doesn't matter as long as it gets my lips glossy. Move on. Um, this is a, this is Kiss and Smirk. Mm, Kiss and Smirk Martellus. I don't know what this is. Uh, this was sent to me again. This is a purpley color. I don't remember using this, but clearly I have. It looks like I used this before. Probably didn't like it. Yeah. This is Fenty Beauty um, Matatos Plush Matte Lipstick. This is her lipstick, not her lip gloss, in the color Single. This is a package. Um, I love this package. I've used this once or twice. Um, this what it is. It's like another nudie color. Um, should I swatch for you guys? Oh, I'm going to start swatching them. Okay, let me go back and swatch some more. 
I didn't think to swatch them so you guys can really see the color. Okay, I'm gonna go back. That was the um the one I just showed you guys. This is the Kiss and Smirk. Um, y'all see how it just be like different tones, and I just think certain things just look different on certain people. So yeah, this is the um this one. That one's super pink. Um, this is this one. I'm gonna use. This is why I love this one. This is kind of like the perfect nude to me. On a basic day. I'm gonna show you guys this one. Yeah, this one's super sheer. I remember why I didn't like this one. It doesn't do nothing. It's kind of just a glitter. And then I'm gonna show you guys the brown one that I'm probably never gonna use. But I'm gonna show you guys just in case. You guys would like to see. See how it's like gray looking? That's what I mean. Like I thought it was like it looks brown. It doesn't look like it's gonna come out gray. Okay. So then we have the Kylie, the Kylie Jenner Mac Liquid Lipstick in the color Clove. I used to I love this, especially when I want a nice matte look. It's beautiful. I use brown lip liner, put this on top. Perfect. I used to love matte lips, but I don't really like matte lips anymore. I do them every now and then, but this is so cute because it's like a wine color, and I love wine colors on me. I've been liking wine colors ever since prom because I got my makeup done at MAC, and they did a wine color on me. Beautiful. Okay, this is, the name has rubbed off, but this used to be, I'm trying to think, was I on YouTube when I was using this? I'm not even sure if I was on YouTube when I was using this, but y'all. Um, this is before I bought all these lipsticks. I probably just bought all these lipsticks within a year or two. This was the only thing I was using. This and something else, but I threw that away because it busted open. So, but y'all, I used to love this with my brown liner. It's perfect. I used to love it, but now I just feel like that color doesn't look cute on me. I feel like it looked cute on me back in the day. Maybe that's just what I mean. You know how, like, something was sweet to you back then, but I was, like, super ugly now? Yeah. That was one of those times. Okay. So, the next one we have is the Satin Gloss. Victoria's Secret Satin Gloss in the color Berry Flash. Somebody bought me this. This is one of the ones I didn't buy. Somebody bought me this. I've never wore this. I've never even opened it. The package is still on it. I just feel like this is not going to be cute on me. Like, it's a gloss. But I just keep it just in case. Like, you just never know. <laughs> okay. We have the NYX Liquid Suede Professional Makeup Cream Lipstick in the color Soft Spoken. I've never opened this. I don't know why. But I just... Sometimes I get things and forget that it's there. And this is definitely in the back of the tray. So I kind of probably forgot that it was there. But I'm definitely going to use this in a makeup look soon. See how it looks. So stay tuned for that. Oh, God. Y'all, this definitely used to be my holy girl. If I wasn't using that pink one I was just telling y'all about, this is definitely my holy girl. This is one of the first ones I got as well. This is the NYX. Is it NYX or is it NYX? Anyways, NYX Butter Gloss. Everybody knows Butter Gloss, period in the color plain but i used to have another one but i either i lost it or somebody stole it for me but let's watch this color for y'all it's beautiful it's just a gloss but it's like a brown gloss beautiful it sounds like it's not even a lot in here because this is the same one i've been having okay this is the fancy Fenty Beauty, the lip, the same lip gloss, but in the color Diamond Milk. This is the very first one I got. Somebody got this one for me. It's actually damn near gone, but I keep it because it's going to be some on the brush. So, period. This one is, this is one of the very first ones I got as well. But I don't wear this one as often because... 
it's matte but it's like that matte where like if your lips not moisturized like you have to moisturize your lips before or your lips will be cracked and it just looks hideous so i don't really wear this one a lot but it's it's called true matte this this came from the beauty supply store but it's in the color wineberry true matte and it's very another reason why i don't use this it's very hard to get off like i'll be scrubbing for days Okay, that's all that's in that tray. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the second tray. Now for the second tray, this was this is one of the ones that I didn't that was sent to me. This is Watermelon Burst by Sita. It's just a lip gloss. It's like a lip oil, something that I just used. Um, this is Victoria's Secret Sugar High flavored lip gloss. This one, um, as y'all can see, it's almost gone. It's just a regular everyday lip gloss, yada, yada, yada. This is my favorite lip gloss of all times, y'all. Like, if y'all, let me put y'all on real fast. If y'all don't go get this, you're missing out 150%. Like, this gloss... I used to have it in um ew. I literally used to have it in every they got different colors like they got the clear one and they got the clear one with um it could they come with the uh like sparkles in it I had the clear one with the silver sparkles I had one with the red sparkles I had when I tell y'all when I go to the beauty supply store I'm gonna show y'all so make sure y'all look out for that but it's the holy grail like it never this is literally the best lip gloss hands down y'all know how like y'all have lip gloss and it wears off no i've eaten this slept in literally slept in this ate in this woke up it's still there period i can do anything in this lip gloss and it's still going to be there this is the best the best lip gloss i've been using this since i've been wearing lip gloss and i don't have all the one the other all the colors anymore because I just think it's pointless. It's like that was back when I was younger, but now I just use the clear one. But it is the RX RX by Cliss Crystal Gloss, enriched with shea butter. The best, the fucking holy grail. Go get it. I'm almost out. Yeah. <laughs> the best i keep those on me like i even didn't put my other friends onto it period the best lip gloss in the world um i keep carmax because y'all never know because i get cold sores in the summer i mean not in the summer in the in the winter so i just keep it on me baby because as soon as i see that she coming and this is didn't this is just uh another everyday um uh, moisturizer for my lips and this is also something that i use like after my face routine so i will use all my good glosses so yeah. <sighs> next we have the stay matte liquid lip color um by romel romella in the color rosetta so this by romel we're gonna just swatch this. Hmm. That's a cute color too. I don't think I've used this one before. I think I started to, but then I was like, no, I'm gonna use it. I don't know why. Um, oh, I also didn't buy this. So it's six that I didn't buy. I didn't buy this one either. This was sent to me. This is the MAC, MAC Matte Lip Gloss in the color lady danger which is just a red color like i said y'all see what kind of lips that i buy like pinks and pinks and nudes but they sent this to me so i was like all right just a red nice red color i wore it once i think i don't really wear lip, red lipstick it doesn't i always i love to keep a um i love to keep a hair color I don't really like black hair. Well, I barely wear black hair, honestly. 
I really, I do the natural, even when I get like, like you get the natural color, I don't get black. But I love to keep a color, so it's hard to wear reds and wine colors and stuff like that when you have red hair or brown hair or blonde hair or blue hair, you know, purple hair, something like that. It's hard because it clashes, which is why I use um, nudes and pinks because that's just something that just goes with everything. So, yeah. Um, we have the next couple are hella NYX. Me and my friend went to Target, literally bought about like 10 of these. Like, well, y'all seen some of them in the other tray. But yeah, me and my friend went crazy. Anyways, NYX, um, Matt Suede. This is the suede line. This is the suede line. Perfect colors in the suede line. NYX suede line matte lipstick in the color. This is the brunch me color. I've used this one before. Pretty. Y'all see how like all these are pinks, but different shades. Well, not all these, but you know, like most of these. Get into. Get into. This is the like I said, all these are from the same line. This is the color Girl Buy, which is like a wine color. I've used this one before. I'm not sure if I did a YouTube video on that look, but I definitely posted pictures in that look. So, yeah. Love that color. It looked so good on me. I think I had a color here that I have. Um, And this is the last one from that line. This is called Free Spirit. I haven't opened this one yet, but I'll open it y'all i love this one me and my friend fought for this one because this was the last um color but that one's super cute i actually gotta wear this one that, that was my first time swatching it okay so the next ones we have are the wet and wilds so me and my friends got hella nyx and wet and wilds but this is the wet and wild this is the mega last line this first one is called skinny dipping i only have two of these but i've never opened this one either this one's called skinny dipping this one's super i don't know if i'm gonna wear that one because it doesn't look the way it doesn't show up the way it looks so that's a bummer okay this one is called bear it all i've used this one before that one's super pretty i like that one right there Okay, so that was that one. Okay, so the last lipstick over here is the, um, I didn't buy this one. This is the last one I didn't buy. This is the sixth one that I didn't buy out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 um in the color keep it real so this is what it is i don't know i've never heard of this brand but i don't like this one because it doesn't show up like literally it's just like a it's called tinted so i thought it was gonna show up like the color that's on here but look i'm swatching nothing showing up it's literally just like a, a bomb so that's what i'm gonna use it as i thought it was gonna be a lipstick i was sadly fucking mistaken so, so I was trying to take the swatches off, but remember the ones I said, the one I said it's hard to take off, the matte one. This is the one. These is like okay, I'm just not liking hard enough. But this one, what the fuck? It's okay, I'm about to get in the shower after this, anyways. But that's not the point. Moving on. So now we have the last tray, as far as like trays. So, and this tray is like. There's a whole bunch of random stuff that didn't fit in the other trays. So this is the primer that I use. My Holy Grail, the Elf Matte Putty Primer. I see a lot of people use it. I want to go get it. It's wonderful. I mix this with my Smashbox. Lovely. We have the Ultra Highlighter in the color Blissful. Let me open it for you guys. 
I've used this a couple times, but like I said, I don't really use highlighter no more because I feel like I never really liked highlighter on my cheeks because I kind of have a natural glow. But I like to do it on my nose to kind of really um, make my my nose contour pop. But I just felt like the highlighter was making my nose look more oily than what it was supposed to. Because like I said, I get I used to be super, super oily. And my nose was one of the first things that would, would get oily. So I just felt like the highlight just make it look even more oily than what it was supposed to be. So I just stopped using it all together. We have the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, medium to dark. This is the one I have. Um, this is the one I use. I use this one for my contour. Um, I use this for my contour, my powder contour. I use this one just to blend, to help everything blend on my face um like my all over powder and then this one this is just the highlight color and i use that one to highlight under my brow sometime next i have the l'oreal true match powder in the color soft sobel which is c6 um i used to use the l'oreal true match foundation so i bought the powder because i'll be using foundation and then i'll use the powder as the all over powder so sometimes I use this as my all over powder. Um, this one and the color that's in here, they're kind of basically the same colors. So I just, whichever one I grab first is what I use. It's literally kind of like the same color. I don't see a difference in like the formula. So, but definitely whenever I'm going out and I want to bring something to like keep me from getting oily if I need to reach if I know I might need to reach out to have my makeup, I definitely grab this one because it's just more, um, travelable what, what is the word accessible maybe and then it has the mirror and stuff and it comes with them it's the mirror and the little pop pad thing so it's just more accessible this we have the will powder blush in the color stamina stamina i use it sometimes sometimes i don't i have this other blush that i used to use well, it wasn't a blush, it was an eyeshadow that I used to use, but I just don't use it anymore. Um, this is the Rommel blush in the color Sweet Cheeks. I literally got it because it was $2, but it doesn't show up that much. Like, if I use this one, it's very, it's not that pigmented, it's very light. So, if I, I will have to use it, I use this one with something else. So, I don't really reach for it because I don't want to put on two things and I just got one. But is what it is um we have the so for setting spray i usually use the morphe mattifying setting spray but i've just been too lazy to order me some honestly so i went to go um one time i was going out and i just needed some setting spray quick so i just bought the elf um setting spray i don't like it so i haven't been i don't like it well i'm not gonna say i don't like the formula because i don't know I don't like the way that it sprays out. Like it just sprays like one, like when I spray it, it only goes in one spot of my face, if that makes sense. And it's like, it shoots out kinda. I don't know if I just have a broken bottle, I don't know. But I don't like the way that it shoots out. So it's like, it makes my face super wet. And I don't like that. I like the more when it sprays out. When I spray one thing, it gets my whole face. It's hard to explain, but if y'all have it, then y'all probably know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I have the Fenty Beauty Pore Filter Mattifying Primer. I don't use this one a lot because it's super expensive, so I just use it whenever I just feel like, oh, I'm gonna do it. But it works. I like the way it works though. But like I said, it's just super expensive, so it's not something that I grab often. So maybe for a special occasion. But far as my everyday. I use my elf in my Smashbox. For sponges, I have all Sonia Tatcha sponges. I have about six of them. Those are the only sponges I use. Yeah. So for my eyelashes, I get the ones from Beauty Supply Store. Um, I don't have the name of them, so I'm not even gonna show you guys it because they come in a package. But once I open it, I just throw the package that has the name and stuff on it, I throw that part away, so, cause yeah. 
I know my lashes when I see them. I don't know the name of them, but I know them when I see them. But if y'all watch some of my other videos, then y'all know because I'm always talking about them because they're the best lashes. Why pay $10, 20 $15 when I can make three? So now the only things that we have left is eyeshadow palettes. I keep all my eyeshadow palettes in this little thing. So let's get straight into it. So I have, okay, I'm just gonna grab whichever one I got first. I have the Morphe X Manny MUA Glam Palette. Um, I actually just did a makeup look with this palette. Um, it was my first time using the palette. So I'm not sure if that video is out yet, but if it is, make sure you guys go watch it. If it's not, look forward to it, period. Um, I'm just gonna show y'all the colors that's in the palette. I love these colors. They're yeah, super nice. So yeah. Whatever you're up to. I'm not sure what everybody's up to. I'm just going to show you guys what I got. Okay. I have the Beauty, Bre Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed eyeshadow palette. These are super it's hella shimmer colors, but this is cute too. I think I used this once, but when I did it, I did a neutral look. So, yeah. Of course, I have... This is, this, okay, I was gonna say this was my first palette, but it wasn't. <laughs> um, I'm gonna show you guys my first, um, what do you call that? My first name brand palette, because I used to get like palettes from like the dollar store, stuff like that. But I'm gonna show you guys my first name brand palette. But this was my first, hold on. This was my first big palette. That I purchased on my own. I just felt like I had to get it. Everybody was getting it. It had all the colors. I loved it. Um, this is the James Charles palette. As y'all can see, I use it a lot. It's I hit pan on a couple. So yeah, this um I love this palette. This palette definitely comes in handy when I do colorful lips. And it definitely comes in. This is one of the first pa like, okay. I had two other palettes for Morphe, which I'm gonna show you guys later on. But this is the, I never use those palettes. Well, I'm not gonna say I never use those palettes. But this palette, when I got this palette, it just made me want to do eyeshadow so much more because of all the colors. It was pretty to me. Like, I don't know, this palette just really got me into eyeshadow. Even though I don't do eyeshadow um, really no more. When I first got this palette, I was doing hella eyeshadow. So this came in handy for hella colorful looks when I went to Pride and stuff like that. It came in handy, so yeah. Next, we have the Violet Boss Essentials 2 Pro Series Eyeshadow Palette. I've used this one two or three times, but it's very, like, has hella fallout. So, yeah. It's nice colors, though. I really want to try this purple one and this blue. That's, that's the colors that's calling my name. Um, we have, okay, so I have two of the same palettes because I bought one and when they sent it to me, it came broke. So I told them and they sent me another one. So I'm going to show you guys. It's the 35 Fall into Frost Morphe palette. I'm going to try to find the one that's not broken so I can show you guys. Okay, this is definitely the broken one. But honestly, I bought this palette because when I do do eyeshadow, I do neutral lips. But I haven't been using this palette. Honestly, I probably used this palette maybe twice. Okay, what the hell? They both are. Okay, I thought that one was a broke one, but this one is a broke one. But, you know, neutral colors, y'all see? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going any further than that. I have to throw this away. What the fuck? Ew. 
was sitting everywhere. Oh. Oh my god, they're trying to close me. They're trying to close me. Okay, here it goes. Whatever. Oh, y'all, I found it. It was in there. It must have fallen there. I've been looking for this. I don't go in here a lot because I don't do eyeshadow, so I don't go in here a lot. <laughs> okay, so I have the last couple right here. I'm just gonna show you guys so this one these are not even matched these are from my friend um this is the maddie zingler the um imagination palette when i seen this i just fell in love and i just felt like i had to get it so i got it <laughs> so cute shit's falling out like look at these colors they're so pretty <laughs> as y'all can see i was definitely using the neutral colors but i'm definitely gonna i actually did a look with the colors in this row of this color it attracts me so much but i scrapped it because um like i was telling you guys i've said this before and i'll say this again I do videos, then I get lazy. Never edit them, never upload them. I just feel like it's too late now. Don't like my hairstyle anymore or something and I don't like in the video, so I just delete it. Okay, so these are my very first palette. Somebody bought these for me for Christmas, maybe about a year or two, definitely probably two years ago. This is the Morphly X Jekyll Hill palette. I only have two of them, I know there's four. I wanted to get the other two because I definitely want to get like the greenish one because for like fall and stuff but i just never got it so this the first one is the ring the alarm one as y'all can see i definitely hit pan on these these were my only palettes at the time so and like i said i like neutral colors so this was kind of like the neutral palette so i definitely hit pan i used to love a nice gold moment on the lid so i haven't used these palettes in so long though Um, this one, we have this one. Um, this is the Bling Boss one. I definitely hit palette over here because I like a, I also like a pink glitter on the lid. This color, so yeah, that's all the colors I was using. Um, I think that's all of my makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video um i hope this lets you guys know some of the products that i use a lot of people want to know how i do my makeup how i get my makeup to look so good and i'm gonna say this i'm gonna say this it's not all about the products um people think okay let me say this it's not all about the products people think that you have to have fenty or uh shape tape or morphe or hourglass like expensive brands to make your makeup look good and that's not true most of these are the mm, let me say most of these damn near all of these are affordable makeups um or drugs or drugstore makeup most of these i got from the drugstore i don't really shop at sephora and um ulta stuff like that i've definitely never bought anything out of that and that's no cap i've never bought anything out of those stores most of these i've gotten from drugstores and if i got like morphe and stuff like that i've definitely ordered it from morphe.com but morphe definitely be having sales so and even i don't um mm, i'm not gonna say morphe's really a high brand it's not really that high to me like those palettes maybe 30 dollars and you get they're big palettes you know like they're not little so i think they're definitely affordable and morphe i mean like morphe and stuff like that um I definitely only have eyeshadow for so like far as like my face i feel like um making your face look good it's all about the face products and 
100 percent of my face products i've gotten from um a drugstore so um it's not all about the products um you definitely want to spend money on it but you don't have to go bankrupt for it um because i used to use makeup from like um, the dollar store when i first started doing makeup or like the beauty supply store and i'm not even gonna knock the beauty supply store because i definitely still get items from there my eyebrow pencil came from the beauty supply store it works on those wonders people ask me all the time what do i use for my eyebrow um these some of these um lips lip glosses and stuff beauty supply store so like i said i'm definitely not gonna knock it and the beauty, some beauty supply store definitely hold name brands as well so um you, it's just about spending the right kind of money you don't have to spend too much uh like i said i used to get stuff from the dollar tree and my makeup looked horrible but that's because i was only spending a dollar or two on items i start going up now i may spend five or ten dollars on an item which is still not even pricey at all the most i probably spend is no more if i if an item is more than twenty dollars i'm not buying it i'm sorry like far as like a face product, an eyeshadow palette, yeah, I'll spend thirty dollars on it. I'll, I'll even spend forty dollars on it because it's worth it. it. Comes a lot of thing comes. Um, it's worth it. It's long term. Um, the eyeshadow palette is big, and then it's not even about. Sometimes it's not even about the products. It's definitely about um, just your face routine. When I had bad skin and I didn't really care about face routine, my makeup was horrible. Now that I've gotten into um, skincare and stuff like that. Um, my makeup is getting better with my skin. So, it's definitely about that. So, I hope you guys go buy some of these products. If you guys want to know, like, how I do my face. And y'all be wanting to get the Tiana face. Period. Like I said, it's not expensive at all. And even if you don't want to spend your money on it. Because you're not sure if you're going to like it. Get Boxy Charm. Get Epsi. That's what I get. I get every month. Um, Epsi, I get the, um, 12, $12 one. They send you five items. That's how I found some of the items that, that I love. So now I spend my own money on. <sighs> so, um, Boxy Charm, they send you five big items for $25. So that's how I found some of the items that I love. And I'm going to spend my money on whenever it runs out. So, yeah. It's all about finding stuff that works for you you don't have to go bankrupt for it and that's just is what it is i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe comment down below if you guys like this video let me know what you guys thought of this video let me know if you guys want to do more videos like this i'm definitely probably going to be getting more makeup products because like i said i do get epsi and boxy charm every month so i get new makeup every month i find new stuff to buy in the store every day so if you guys want me to do an updated one in a couple months definitely let me know make sure you guys go follow me on all social medias it will be in the comments just i mean in the description box description box down below like some other videos comment on some other videos share some other videos and if you guys made it this far you guys might as well join the pretty gang period bye pretty